Hey everybody. Um, because of a bunch of requests I got, I decided to do a series on actual trap sets. So it's going to be right from the fall beaver trapping open water right through to muskrat. Some mink sets that I use, Martin, Fisher, wolf sets, fox links, um, otter, and so on. And uh, so, you know, for all the young guys out there, I hope uh, it helps with some of uh, the questions you had, and, uh, and good luck on the line. Alrighty, enjoy. Hey guys, I'm just up from the where the uh, pipe is draining the pond. I'm going to show you here, we're setting a 330 Connie Bear on a, a dam right over here. We have the beaver house out in the middle there and here you have what can only be described as the utterly most perfect spot for a 330 Connie Bear on a dam set. And then you see this extremely well-worn trail down here. Another spot there where you could put a 330 and then right over there you've got another little old backup dam and they've got it's just wore down so th bad there it's right through the a foot down into the dam so you could put a trap in any one of these spots or you could put one in each of the spots and have several beavers every time you come here until they're pretty much gone but I'm gonna set just one trap today because I want to get some I'm coming in tomorrow I want to get some bait to pre-bait my Martin and mink sets so I'll skin the beaver in the bush probably and, and then I'm gonna start setting traps heavier next week because rat season opens up in uh, in a week and uh, then what because I like to while I'm setting these beaver traps if I'm walking by a bunch of logs with rat sign on them I might as well have rat traps set too double the pleasure anyways I'm gonna show you real quick how we set this uh, set up I'm gonna try and turn on this GoPro here and Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to shut this off for a sec. Okay, we're setting a 330 Connie Bar on the dam set here. Um, just show you here. I have at home, I have these traps all, springs all set, wires attached already. Everything when I'm coming in the bush here, setting traps, is get it done as fast as you can. Fast and productive is the, the best way to to have a set and uh, I'm going to do this real quick here and show you what's what I'm going to set that right there number one an anchor push it down into the mud and make sure it's far enough in there that a beaver is not going to pull it out okay Then we take our trap. Notice the trigger on these is in a T position and I'll have it placed at the water depth where the T, the top of the T is right below the water. Just like so. Okay, then take this wire. Wire it off good and solid. And the next and last step is find a couple sticks like so. Push them into here. 
Now you want to push them in far enough that the it holds the trap from falling over and this thing is pretty solid already so I'm gonna just put the one stick in there but if it wasn't in a place that was so tight I'd put two in to hold it up but you don't want it in there so solid that after the trap is sprung and the animals in there the animal stays there it uh you know might spook the other beavers from using the trail but the main thing is you don't want it sitting there in the water up where I am because well, like that video you saw last year with the fisher eating the beaver that was in the trap. I just don't like to have my beavers ruined because birds will come along, fisher, mink, um, ravens are the worst. I even had that one beaver on the house there last year that the two eagles were eating it. So I like to get them enough loose wire to get into deeper water so that they're submerged and most animals ain't going to find them. You'll still get the odd mink that'll chew on under there, but anyways, that's it. It's that fast. If you want, you can take a couple pieces of grass just to put like this to sort of camouflage your trap. But for beavers, unless you get a smart old beaver that's been made trap shy, this isn't gonna you know bother them too much. So anyways, like I said, fast and easy. Um, but remember, all these sets are spots I have, uh, you know, pre-scouted. I know exactly what I'm coming and doing. That's why trapping uh, season, the couple weeks before trapping season, is so important to get out in the bush and, and just save yourself a lot of time on trap setting days. You see, because I've got a log there I know is going to be have a rat trap on it. Uh, there's another one in the corner. So when the uh, rat season opens up, I can just bring two traps in with me. I'm going to notch them out right now. So all I got to do is come in, throw the trap on there and go. All right, catch you later.